Hi everyone, I really appreciate your comments. Uh, even just leaving a heart comment or leaving a, a few different comments below, just anything really helps. I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm, like I said, so thank you guys for your support. Let's see what the story is. As always, I do private readings as well. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That's right below in the description box. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Devil, Two of Cups. Two of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups. Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Death. Hmm. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles and the Death card. Two of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Oops, sorry about that. What I see here is somebody that rejected you quite a bit. It's like you made this offer to them with this Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the Four of Swords, which is like healing, isolation. Um, but I mean, it's, it's about it's about healing. It's about recovery. And then we have the devil, which is all about, you know, past baggage, uh, holding back. So it's, it's almost like this person, I feel like this person rejected you. I feel like this can also be about meditation. And so I almost feel like this person was meant to go inward and they were meant to heal their old patterns. They were meant to open up to new perspectives. But with the devil card here, I almost feel like they got in their head and, and they were supposed to be, like I said, communicating with their spirit guides, uh, you know, healing old patterns, looking at these old patterns. So I think what happened here is I feel like this person did look at their old patterns because the devil is, you know, subconscious patterns. It's it's triggers. It's past wounding. It's the things that kind of hold us back. Um, and I feel like this person did look at those things. This person was kind of pushed to to go inward, to meditate, to go into this kind of hermit energy. But I feel like instead of healing those patterns, it's like they got triggered. And instead of healing those old patterns and, and having a new perspective and, and maintaining a balance, I feel like they just got lost in their head and they were like, well, what if that happened again? You know what I mean? Like, let's say they were triggered to think about someone from their past, like an ex who really hurt them, maybe cheated on them or or just really broke their heart or somebody who uh I'm hearing somebody who stole from them for somebody like somebody who like stole a lot of money from them um or somebody who stole like I'm seeing somebody like somebody really this isn't for everybody but I'm seeing one specific person here where it's like they stole like they stole something out of their house like they actually stole something kind of valuable to them and it was more the betrayal that hurt more than anything but anyway it, it's like they were pushed to look at these patterns and maybe they were pushed to like, maybe they were pushed to like think about, you know, certain people from their past that betrayed them and hurt them so that they could see it from a new perspective and they, they could, um, you know, clear that energy up so they could process it so they could feel that pain, feel those emotions and, you know, move forward. But instead, they... They didn't let it flow naturally is basically what I'm getting here. I feel like this person started thinking about the past and then they got in their head and, you know, maybe they were, they, they needed to clear up this situation. Like maybe they had like an ex or somebody that they were still, um, like there might've been trauma from somebody that was kind of blocking them basically from, from being happy, from love, from abundance, from manifesting good things in their life. Like they, they were basically drawn to look at their emotional and mental blocks and look at the things that might be blocking them from abundance in all areas of their life. And instead of doing the healing work and clearing up those patterns, clearing up, you know, old karma, clearing up, you know, having a new perspective, they just got in their head and they, they, like they, they attached to something. They might've had a bad memory come up and they're like, oh my God, what if that happens again? What if I go through that again? It, it, it's like, they just went the opposite direction with it, basically. 
And I feel like here, I feel like you were really, I feel like you put a lot of effort into this, into this person. I feel like you put a lot of, God, you put a lot of energy into this person. Two of cups, two of wands, two of wands is like planning, like long term, like you were patient with this person through all of this. You still just saw, you know, soulmate, twin flame, like you just saw this as your person. Eight of pentacles, king of cups. I'm actually, I had to pause for a minute because I was getting multiple messages from this. I actually feel, okay, so for some, I feel like you're this person that, and, and you know, always place the roles where, where you see fit. I usually don't clarify this. Usually it's just, if you feel like I'm talking about them, but you know, I'm talking about you or vice versa, just take, you know, whatever role fits. It's, this is always an intuitive exercise. I can say this means a certain thing, but if you intuitively feel like it means something else for you personally, go with that, you know, go with your intuition. Um, but for some, you're this person that got, you know, was meant to do some healing work and you got caught up and you started putting this effort, this time, patience, perseverance into being this king of cups, being somebody who's emotionally open, emotionally mature, emotionally grounded and balanced. But somewhere along the way, it's like you got scared that you were just going to get heartbroken again. So you're like, screw it. I'm going to choose the single life. And there was meant to be a transformation, but it's like death is like a death and like a rebirth, like a transformation. Like you were meant to go from being single to having everything, um, you know, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is, you know, love, abundance, money. It's it's generational wealth. It's family legacy. It's it's everything. This is one of the best cards in the deck. But it's almost like you blocked yourself. You got in your head and you blocked yourself from having this happy ending. Two of Swords is like somebody at a crossroads. Somebody has a blindfold on. They're conflicted. So it's almost like you were meant to go from this transformation and into something more abundant going from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles this is somebody who has everything there but they're single the one thing they don't have is love and then ten of pentacles it's like somebody was meant to go through a transformation here and instead it's like they block themselves from from going through this transformation it's like they block themselves from their own happiness for you know just out of their own fear out of their own this is like somebody who gets in their head and they just block themselves for no reason like there's no it's almost like they're in their head so much they can't like differentiate what's going on in like the physical world reality from like what their projections their assumptions what's going on in their mind like they have a hard time separating the two so it's almost like this person just caused their own heartbreak they caused you know, they sabotage themselves basically by getting in their head. For some, this was you, where I feel like you were, you know, four of swords, the devil. Um, I mean, for some, this was, this was them where I feel like you were putting in this effort, you were being patient with them and it just kind of led to heartbreak where it's like, you really worked on this. You really try to be patient with this person. You really had faith in them king of cups like you really believed that they could be emotionally available emotionally mature like you were willing to put the hard work in you were willing to be patient and perseverant with this person and it just led to heartbreak they were just like you know never mind I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna just be alone I'm gonna choose a single life or I'm gonna play the field um and so you know so somebody here whether it was you or then somebody sabotaged this somebody blocked somebody is blocking themselves from their own happiness from their own happy ending here um tell me more about this ace of cups the moon king of swords the tower knight of swords temperance ace of swords the high priestess i actually didn't expect this message to come up so like for those of you if, if you're not resonating if this is not your energy group i'm sorry because i do want to channel multiple energy groups i don't want to just keep channeling the same energy group i want there to be that you know diversity on my on my channel here but I am, I think I am channeling the same, the same um, person, you know, same energy group that I've been channeling. 
same people. But basically what I'm getting is this person just doesn't trust anything. They're very pessimistic. They're very cynical. Because it's almost like with the Ace of Cups and the Moon here, I feel like you, you were genuine. You were genuinely presenting a love offer to this person, but the moon is like something hidden. And King of Swords is, you know, somebody who's like overly, you know, they can be overly logical. It can be about communication too, but it's like somebody who's very, you know, my way or the highway. They like to do things a certain way, um, head over heart kind of kind of energy. So it's almost like, and you have all this emotion pouring out. So it's like you really were giving this person a genuine love offer with the Ace of Cups. You really were just giving them a genuine love offer here. And with the moon, it's like they were afraid that something was hidden underneath. Like, this is too good to be true. This person's probably going to abandon me in the end. Or this person's probably going to cheat. Or this person's probably... Like, like they were, they were just terrified that there was something hiding behind the surface. They're like, nah, this is too easy. Um, it couldn't be this simple. And it's really sad because like I said, they block themselves from their own happiness, from their own abundance with the two of swords and the 10 of pentacles. It's like, they could have had everything. They could have had it all money, love, abundance. They are, they are their own worst enemy. They're the only ones. They're the only one that's blocking themselves from having that. Um, king of swords though there's a tower moment coming in for this person i think this person's going to have epiphanies about this they're going to kind of recognize that they're going to like i said this person gets in their head so much they're so pessimistic that i feel like i feel like this person wasn't considering anybody but themselves they weren't considering, because I just see somebody who made a lot of effort for this person and they got rejected. They really were patient with this King of Swords. They were understanding. They were empathetic. They really tried to help this man heal. They tried to help this man get on a better path. And it's almost like he just fought them every step of the way. He just sabotaged and sabotaged and sabotaged. And now he may have gotten to that point where he's pretty much sabotaged this connection where this woman or this man might not trust them anymore very much. He's pretty close to sabotaging it if he hasn't already. Um, it's like he can't afford to sabotage anymore. There's there's already little to no trust left. He can't he can't do anything else to sabotage this. Like he can't unless he wants to lose this person for good. Because I just see like I get like the energy of like frustration and like somebody just like somebody being genuine here and just offering this person love and they're just so afraid of so distrusting so guarded so cold so so convinced that you know this love offer has you know negative strings attached like you know you must just want like this person might feel like people just want them for their money or they just want them for um like appearances if they're in like a high social status or they feel like you know oh yeah things look great now but I bet a year or two down the road like you're gonna cheat you're gonna leave me you're gonna see things you don't like or you're gonna get bored with me it's like this person is just so neurotic like they just think of like all the worst case scenarios um but the thing is like you really were giving this person a genuine love offer you were very gentle very loving very empathetic with this person and they projected their their past hurts past disappointments onto you and they made this assumption that you know there must be something negative hidden with this love offer they didn't they didn't trust the love offer they felt like they felt like nothing could really be that easy or they just they got in their head and they they sabotaged and they didn't tell you what they were thinking or what they were afraid of they didn't communicate with you um and they also didn't consider your feelings. So I'm going to do a part two to this video because that was a message that I was channeling earlier. I haven't put it out there yet, but sometimes I just channel certain things. And I'm getting a couple, um, I'm getting two different stories. So two, so two different um, scenarios in that energy group. And it does go hand in hand with one of the readings that I did, did uh, you know, a couple weeks or so ago. Where I think that for some of you, there was like a woman, like a pet, like an ex-friend of yours or a family member that like you used to drive around and you took her everywhere and she she took you for granted. 
and she played the victim a lot and she wants to come back into your life. And the other scenario in the story is, is pretty much this one where, um, it's like this, this man didn't really, it's, it's two different people that didn't take your mental health seriously. So for some, it's going to be that woman for others. It's going to be this man that didn't take your mental health seriously. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't understand like what it took for you to be this vulnerable, how hard it was. You might have been vulnerable in ways that you just weren't with anybody else. You might not be this gentle and patient with other people. They only thought about, because I'm just getting this energy kind of like they didn't think about anybody but themselves. They got in their head. They they analyzed. They overanalyzed things. They made negative assumptions, false assumptions. They It's like they can't separate their past from their present and their future. They, they keep getting all the different energies mixed up. They make assumptions based on what they experienced but those aren't really accurate, you know, they might, this might be the kind of person, this King of Swords just kind of assumes that like, everybody's the exact same way, everybody's out to get them, everybody wants to use them, people want something from them, just somebody who has like a very negative mindset, somebody who's very pessimistic about relationships. Um. So yeah, they didn't trust this love offer. But like I said, I want to do another reading about like, the, the them not taking your mental health uh, seriously thing and them not taking your emotions seriously because it's like they didn't understand because I just see the energy of somebody being really patient with this king of swords and they didn't understand what it took like like when you gave this love offer they were immediately like oh this 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 is you know this is scary this is new this is you know, what if, what if this, what if that, they really got in their head and they sabotaged things and they, they blocked their own happiness. This person is their own worst enemy, but, but, they, but they didn't consider like how you must've felt giving them this ace of cups, this ace of pentacles, like trying and trying and trying to be there, trying to be consistent, trying to be, um, patient, trying to be vulnerable. Even when they weren't being vulnerable with you, you still, tried to be understanding and you still kept trying to push yourself to be vulnerable with them even when they weren't giving you any reason to be even when they might have been hurting you or being cold or guarded you still wanted to be a safe space for them you still wanted to you know you you still pushed yourself to be vulnerable with them even when it was really hard and at the end of the day, it's like you were a safe space for them, but they were not a sp safe space for you. They just kept taking it for granted or kept um, sabotaging. I keep getting this hot, this energy of almost like they, they almost like they want to test you to see what you'll put up with kind of energy or they want to see like maybe like with like abandonment issues. It's like they want to see who's going to leave and who's going to stay. But that's not really OK, though, because, again, they didn't consider how that impacted you, how that how you were feeling you know what I mean like they didn't it was just all about their feelings all about their fears their insecurities they didn't realize you probably have your own fears you probably have your own insecurities you probably have your own you know damage and, and traumas from the past you probably have a hard time opening up too but they didn't consider that they just considered it was just all about them all about their fears all about you know if they have a hard time opening up they prioritize that they don't they, they don't know the energy, the strength it took for you to make these offers again and again, to be vulnerable consistently. You probably reached a breaking point, especially with the tower here. I'm also taking the tower to be, um, this man is also going to reach that breaking point where he's going to recognize this, I feel. Because we've got Knight of Swords, you know, coming in quickly. And then we have the Temperance, like balancing things out, healing because there's truth and clarity coming in this high priestess is bringing uh, truth and clarity and you know she knows everything but she might not speak on it necessarily but um but yeah with the ace let me see here like they're gonna have this epiphany that they did this that they sabotaged this that this was genuine I feel like almost like some of them felt like you were rejecting them, but it's like they are going to realize that they were the ones sabotaging this and rejecting you and pushing you away the whole time. They're going to realize that they, that this was a blessing, that they had, you know, they had a gift here. They had true love here and they, they pretty much just blocked it. They blocked their own happiness. Yeah, divine justice, which is what we keep getting in other readings too, where it's like their spirit guides aren't playing with them anymore. They're not playing with them anymore. They're, uh, 
Yeah, they they don't get to they don't get to stay in this this childish energy here anymore. They don't get to stay in this eight of swords like kind of victim mentality, you know, with the blindfold and not seeing the truth, not seeing clearly, um, just assuming that everyone from the past is is you know people are all the same. This their negative assumptions, their spirit guides are fed up. It it kind of goes hand in hand with that reading I just did where it was like saying you know with or without you in the picture, even if you're, even if you know you're done with them or they're done with you. For those of you that have decided that you're done with this, they're going to be forced to change either way. And that's what they're going to realize. Um, yeah, because Chariot, it's like they're coming out of that mentality, that, you know, sabotage victim mentality. They're they're being pushed forward. They're going to have to have these, they're going to have these epiphanies. They're not going to be able to avoid it. Some of them might have like, I don't know, like they're just going to, something's going to come out where they're, they're going to have to... Um, they're going to have to face the truth. They're going to have to face, they're going to have to look in the mirror and they're going to realize they are the ones that did this to themselves. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. I'm going to go do a part two of this reading. So check back for that. I'm going to post these at the same time.